Cheryl Sternman Rule, cookbook author of Ripe, A Fresh Colorful Approach to Fruits and Vegetables, is joining us on Skype to share some low effort, maximum output baking tricks. Cheryl, I love the smell of baked goods in my own house and I know my daughter loves to bake. What is your favorite baking trick that you love to do before company arrives? You know, I love to bake flat sheet cakes. They're really easy to make with children especially and they're simple to make and simple to cut into squares. And then when people arrive, all you have to do is take each little square of cake and put it on a flattened out cupcake liner and they look beautiful. And we're also busy these days. If we do have the occasion, how far in advance can we make these baked goods? You know, the great news about cakes is that they keep really well at room temperature for a few days. So two or three days ahead, you go ahead and bake your cake. Just make sure you wrap it really well in both plastic wrap and foil. Let's talk baking equipment. Why is there a one inch baking sheet and is there anything I should know before I buy it? Uh, what's called a half sheet pan measures about 13 by 18 length and width. And when it has one inch sides, it's great for making these flat cakes that I talked about earlier. When you're in the store, you want to really feel it and make sure it has a good solid weight in your hands. The heavier the baking sheet, the better it's going to conduct the heat and you won't burn the bottoms of your cake. So what's the best way to grease a cake pan? I love using parchment paper. It's really undersung in the kitchen, but it's hugely effective at preventing sticking. So you can buy it at the grocery store or you can order pre-cut parchment. You're gonna grease your sheet pan with some nonstick spray, slip on a piece of parchment, and then grease the parchment as well. If you can get some nonstick spray in the corners, all the better, it will really help prevent sticking. So how can we get powdered sugar to actually stay on top of the cake without absorbing into it? Very easy, just make sure your cake is completely cool before you put any powdered sugar on top. It'll solve your problem immediately. Do you have a favorite baking hack? Share with us using hashtag OwnShow.